Hi, Scorpio. This is your reading for the month of March already. Oh my goodness, 2018. And this is your general reading. So it's going to encompass your general kind of um, vibes, energies, and then the challenges you will face, kind of how to get through those, the vibes that you're putting out into the world. We're going to look at your finances, career work. We're going to look at your love life. If you're single or couple, there maybe you're somewhere in between. And then we're going to look at your personal development, kind of like your emotions and what's going on for you in the month of March. And then we're also going to pull a crystal of the month for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Scorpio. In general, what is the overall feeling or energy in the month of March? And they're saying you're putting the past behind you and you might be a little tired and defeated, but you're doing it and you've learned a lot, so good for you. They say you're letting the th old shit crumble. You're letting like ways of the past, the drama and stuff, you're letting it all go. You're just like, you know what? Sometimes you got to burn shit to the ground so something new and better can be built in its place, and that's great. But for a little bit, it might feel a little bit hard to kind of um, reclaim your balance. It might be a little bit hard for you to um, sort of feel like you've got your shit together, and that's okay. That's normal, okay? So what are the challenges that you might be facing in the month of March related to all of this general energy? And they're saying you may be kind of struggling to figure out what your real purpose is. Like, what is your intention? Like, why do you exist? That sort of thing. It might be sort of an existential crisis, um, but it doesn't feel that heavy to me just because the purple in this card is a lighter purple. So it does relate to your third eye chakra. It is about your sense of purpose, your spirituality, and things like that. But it might not be all that deep. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't recognize or realize is that sometimes our life purpose has nothing to do with our career and what we do for a living. Sometimes um, we, you might... Like, your life purpose, I guess it could be that you're an accountant. You might find a lot of joy and help a lot of people that way. But maybe that's what you love to do, and it's not your life purpose. Your life purpose is being a really good parent or a really good friend or something like that. It's not always related to our work. So that's something to keep in mind as you go on this journey of self-discovery. So what are some things you need to know about it? That you've got to kind of take some time to rest, to recuperate, to chill the fuck out, instead of continuing to strive, especially on those things that you need to let go of in the month of March, because this is going to be a month of release for you, okay? Now, in regards to finance, career, work, that sort of stuff, what are your general energies? And they're saying um, things are going to change quickly. But they are going to change for the better. So, you know, anything that might seem bad is actually going to offer you something really wonderful. And they're saying potential new business partnerships are coming, um, really wonderful ideas. And this, this isn't a very, um, a very individual thing. It's like either you are linked with your soul's purpose, right? If it is, in, if that is your career. Um, you've intuitively figured a lot of things out and now you're communicating with the right people at the right time. You've learned a lot of wisdom over the years and now you're, you kind of have this like drive or focus to do the right thing for you in regards to career work finance. Like, so you might be setting goals, you might be finding it's much easier to achieve them than it was in February or January. Okay, so it's a very good month for you in, in that regard. You have to make sure that you're open to allow people to help you though this month because other people are going to be very instrumental in your month um, and they will help you to feel more successful in regards to career work finance. So um, in your love life, if you are a single Scorpio sun moon or rising, what is going on with you? Maybe you're spying on a Scorpio, that's okay too. <laughs> In general, um, you might not be feeling as deeply as you like to, which is hard for a Scorpio, like because apathy is worse than, worse than depression a lot of times because then at least you feel, right? Um, but you're completely unselfish this month and you're making sure that you're being very honest and clear in your communications. This is an excellent communication month for you, Scorpio. Um, what are the challenges for you? And they're saying to kind of decide which route you want to go because in certain regards, both of them have downfalls right? And so you might be a little bit afraid that no matter what you do, it's the wrong choice, that it's hopeless, right? But they're like, ultimately, you have to make a decision, though. Um, and it's hard because the circumstances are not your own fault. It's like in your love life, maybe um, other people 
around you, whether they are actual people that you're trying to meet or that you're having a hard time meeting, you're not meeting people and it has nothing to do with you or your lack of effort. It's more just like they're not, they don't exist right now on the same plane as you, right? So maybe you're trying to meet somebody through like an online dating app and like your right person just doesn't, they're not there yet. They're not on the app yet, right? Maybe you're going out to bars and everybody you meet is, um, you know, already coupled or something like that. They're like, it really has nothing to do with you or your lack of effort. Okay, in in the month of March, if it's not successful, um, because you're going to be doing, you know, the right thing for you, but you might end up feeling a little bit empty or a little bit challenged and frustrated. But they're like every you have to trust, though, that everything's going to work out the way that it ha that it's supposed to. And your own karma is going to come into play here. So if you were a really good partner to people in the past and they treated you like shit, well, you can guarantee now for yourself that the next person who's coming in is going to treat you very fair. They're going to treat you the way that you treated the last person, you know, for better or for worse. So something to keep in mind. For those of you who are coupled, what does it look like? Oh, I forgot to say, what is the um, energy that you're putting out as a single in the month of February? Um, that you are single. So that's good. <laughs> no doubt there. Okay. Now... What is the energy for coupled Scorpios in the month of March? They're like, things aren't going exactly the way that you want. You don't have exactly what you're wishing for in your relationship. And the challenge is that, you know, you both want the very same thing at the end of the day. You just have different ideas on maybe time that that happens or how you approach it, right? Like, you might say, oh, one day we both want to have X amount of money uh, put away for retirement. And one of you is like, we need to put $1,000 a month away now. We need to like really stretch and do this. And the other person's like, and eh, we'll get to it next year, <laughs> you know? And so it's causing arguments and fights that, that don't need to be there because ultimately you want the same thing. So there is going to be a middle ground of compromise, but neither one of you are listening to each other. And so that's a decision that you're making, okay? You need to start listening to each other. Um... How are you going, what's some good advice for you to kind of work through this issue in the month of March? Um, the experiences that you're presently going through are kind of like an initiation for you as a healer. So all this energy of like shedding the old and coming into new, it's like the same thing with a rattlesnake. He's going to shed his skin and then something new and, you know, more beautiful is going to grow underneath it. And that might be happening in your relationship. So in learning to compromise and learning to listen and focus on that big end goal, you're healing yourself, you're healing your relationship, and you probably are healing your partner too. And more beautiful things are going to come through it, but it is kind of a month butting heads and um, a little bit of a month of struggle for some of you, okay? Now, for those of you who are in between, you're an on again, off again relationship, that kind of a thing. Maybe it's not official. They're like, your relationship will get stronger as the month progresses. Um, and new ideas are important, but try not to change things as much as maybe the coupled uh, Scorpios would do that. Okay. In regards to personal development or your emotional state, what is going on in general in March for Scorpios? And they're like, Okay, you're putting a lot of love and energy and effort into whatever it is that you're doing next. And for a lot of you, this is in regards to your career, in regards to your finances, those kind of plans. Um, but it's all, like, you've learned so much over the last, they're saying, three years. Um, for some of you, it's been more, more than that. Some of you, it's been less than that. But especially within the last three years, you've learned so much. You've gained so much wisdom. And now you can help other people with that wisdom, with what you've learned. Um, and you're helping yourself. You're healing yourself, all of these things. And you're finding um, that by by sharing your experiences with others, uh, not only are you helping them, but like you're healing yourself at the same time. And you're kind of just like pouring love out into the world. So your emotional vibes are really good, even though it's kind of like, what the fuck, when you're feeling a little bit apathetic at the same time. It's a little bit of a dualistic kind of energy for you this month, which can make you feel a little confused because you really live in your emotions, Scorpio. So um, what are the challenges for you? And they're saying um, to feel confident, like everything's okay, <laughs> despite this, you might not be feeling yourself this month. Um, but in general, what, you know, what are you learning from this experience? And they're saying, you're learning to be at peace with things. You know, if things aren't drama, if you're not learning, if you're not feeling emotional highs and lows, you might be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, why do I exist? What's the point? I'm not learning. I'm not growing. But they're like, actually, you are. And now you're shifting from learning and growing about yourself to helping other people. So just really embracing this 
uh, moment of peace instead of freaking the fuck out about it and feeling apathy is going to be really good for you. I'm a being of love and I'm releasing all negative energy and this is kind of um, what you're doing in the month of March. So you're coming into like a really positive and maybe even euphoric, I was going to say June, um, even though April is next, but I feel like for a lot of you, June is going to be your golden month. So good for you. Um, in regards to your crystal of the month, you have Apophyllite. And Libra also had this, so did Gemini. Now, um, the reason why this is going to be an important one for you, the funny thing is, is I pull these crystals before I do the reading, so I don't know how they're going to relate until I do the reading. But um, this is very much about following your instincts, getting really clear on things, um, discovering your true self, your inner self, living to your fullest potential based on that, based on who you are, what you've learned, all those things. But it's a very psychic stone. It calls in angels, it calls in blessings, it calls in protection, um, and it also helps you get over colds. It does a lot of shit. Um, you can look those things up on the website if you're interested in it or on Google in general. But anyway, you'll find these there. Now, for Scorpios and Libras in specific, this white or... Um, clear color is going to be a better fit for you than maybe the purple one that is um, more aligned with Gemini, but you, any Apophyllite will do. You can go get one from your crystal store as well. So love and light and have the best March ever. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of this video with me. I appreciate you watching. I thank you so much for your support. If you are interested in related videos, go ahead and click here. This one's for you. If you are interested in becoming a subscriber, go ahead and click here below. And if you hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button, you'll be alerted when new videos come out. You'll also be alerted when I do live feeds. And if you would like a private reading, go ahead and click over here. And this is also the link where you will find your own healing tools, spiritual development, psychic development, so on and so forth. Thanks so much. Love and light.